What's up ATU and welcome to ATU Live. I'm Keegan. I'm Emily. And I'm Mary and we are your ATU Live co-hosts. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this episode. Today we have some guests joining us to talk about Residence Life student staff opportunities. So make sure to apply for that. But first, Emily is going to tell us about everything going around campus this week. Well, y'all, we have some super fun things going on on campus this week. First of all, the women's volleyball team is going to play Southwestern Oklahoma at Tucker Coliseum this Thursday, October 6th. Next, the women's volleyball will also be playing at Tucker Coliseum against Northwestern Oklahoma this Friday, October 7th. The Wonder Boys football team is going to be playing Oklahoma Baptist in Shawnee, Oklahoma on Saturday, October 8th. Also, the student staff employment application for spring 2023 is now open through the housing portal. And lastly, health and safety checks and home improvement are going to start on October 10th and end October 21st. So check your email for more info. Thank you so much, Emily. Joining us today, we have some Res Life student staff here to help discuss employment in Residence Life. So why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves and give us your position title. I'm Colby Higginbottom, and I'm a building manager. I'm Saori Kojima. You can call me Sally. I'm operation assistant. So specifically, what is it that your job does in residence life? Well, as a building manager, I'm kind of responsible for the building that I stay at. So we do um, a lot of work through Star Res, checking up with students, making sure the task was done right, or if the task was not done, making sure it's gotten done as soon as possible. We also serve in Doc Bryan office hours, um, <clears throat> where we are given a set of tasks to complete, whether it be moving furniture around or getting built, um, rooms ready for students to come into. And then we also serve on call, where we have this little system where we where residents will call the RAs and if it is a maintenance if it is a maintenance problem they'll call the building managers and it usually goes from 5 p.m. until 8 a.m. and any time in that time you are on call and have to respond and solve the issues to the best of your ability okay operation assistant mainly do the room checks uh like for example when Resident check out, we will check the rooms after that. Mm -hmm. And when someone check in, uh, we will check the rooms before that. Uh, other than that, sometimes uh, we have inventory room in that hall. So when maintenance stuff, like using like materials, like tools, uh, I will keep track of them, like what is needed, what is uh, being used. Yeah, being uh, used, something like that. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. So, what makes working on campus different than working off campus? I feel the um, first thing is just the flexibility of it mm -hmm. because you're very in tune with your employers and they're very good at um, working around your schedule. So, if you have classes, if you have a class at 8 a.m., 10 a.m. and 12 a and 12 p.m. like I do. There's very um, interesting workarounds, and they do give you a lot of leeway to get out of classes and kind of like de-stress from those before you have to go to work. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And Sally, are there any other benefits other than just a paycheck working with Res Life? For example, as an international student, I'm from Japan, so I because of my because of my visa, I cannot work off campus. So it will be very helpful for me to like, be able to work on campus. Yeah. And I can also get housing discount. Uh, it should be 25%. So it's very helpful for me. And yeah, it helps me a lot. Yeah, yeah that's nice. That's definitely a bonus. <laughs> and then do you guys, your specific positions, are you hourly pay or stipend pay? The building manager role is stipend. And then for you? Uh, hourly pay. What does scheduling look like? Uh, like, do you set your own schedule? Or are you scheduled a second amount of hours? Like, for your job specifically, what does scheduling look like for those, for your pay? Well, we, uh, towards the beginning of the year, we kind of were, we use a when to work, and we would put in all of our classes or the times that we absolutely couldn't work 
And from there, our employer was able to like craft a schedule that kind of works with everyone. So to kind of um, balance the load between everyone um, enough, like having around five people working at all times. And <clears throat> then on call, what it looks like for us is that in a semester, you'll have two weekends on call where there'll be two people on duty for the entire campus mm -hmm. for the weekend. And then you'll have days in the week where you're on call, stuff like that. But the um, we don't necessarily get to like pick our schedules too much, but they are formed around our schedule. Okay. So it's very easy to work with. That's nice. Same thing there with your schedule? Or Oh uh, yeah, for the RA people, uh, we have to submit the blue sheet, which is uh, like the paper, right? Like mm -hmm. how many hours mm -hmm. we worked, and we have to submit it. And also, we have to submit the time report sheet via one tech. So that's the only difference from the stipend yeah. stuff. That's yeah. something that we do as well. Yeah, we yeah. also have to do that. Yeah, that's interesting. So it's a little bit different for each of you. So thinking about that and thinking about your schedules and how that works differently with your classes, how do you guys specifically balance your work life and your school life? There, um, I mean, it's definitely challenging, like tough to get used to, um, but I think it would be a lot easier than working off campus mm -hmm. because the people you work for, um, work for the same university, so they're very understanding of the uh, classes you have to take and sometimes the workload can be too much, whereas an employer outside of the university might not understand it too much. But balancing, it is, it is challenging, but you'll, you get used to it the more that you do it. Yeah, Just kind of same, same things, yeah. yeah. I usually work from one to five every day, so mm -hmm. it's very stable and mm -hmm. yeah, that's easy helpful. to make my other plans. Yeah, yeah. Balance it like that. so yours is pretty consistent. It helps you yes. with like scheduling your homework stuff. As Consistency well. is key. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is the most challenging aspect of working for Res Live? That's a really good If question. there is anything <laughs> challenging. There's nothing challenging. I mean, there's it's perfect. <laughs> there's definitely challenges to each job. And mm -hmm. specifically for my position as being on call, mm -hmm. I feel like that um, sometimes you get calls at a very um, inconvenient time that you have to respond to. And you never know what you're, um, what you're getting into. Like it could be a problem that takes like five minutes to solve or it could be something that's 30 plus minutes. So just having like the um, like inconsistency mm -hmm. of the on calls has always been the most challenging part for me. Yeah. yeah. As operation stuff, um, yeah, room checks. Like since I have to walk around almost all of the buildings, so sometimes when I get multiple buildings, it's uh, hard to like walk through all of the building mm -hmm. on foot. So yeah, I think it's it makes me tired. Mm -hmm. But at the same time that will be some exercise for me. So yeah, yeah it's hard but also good thing. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to look at it for <laughs> sure. So what are y'all's favorite parts of working for residence life? I feel like one of the most overlooked facts is the fact that it networks people. Yeah. It networks you to people that live on the same campus. So mm -hmm. you can definitely make friends for the rest of your school year here, which makes your stay here all the much more sweeter. The housing discount is another great thing. And then the, the stability and the flexibility of working on the same campus that you go to school at. Yeah. Yeah, housing discount is the biggest advantage for us. Yes. And also, I learned lots of vocabulary through working, so it's uh, it might be helpful for international students who are learning English too. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I think that's all we got for y'all. Um, 
thank you for talking about your job and all that. And yeah. we'll have the next people on now. So. Yeah. All right, guys. So we have some more Residence Life student staff here. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourself and give us your job title as well. I'm Houston. Uh, I'm Toby. And we are maintenance assistants. So you said maintenance assistants. What is that specifically? Uh, so as maintenance assistants, we go around the uh, residence halls and just fix maintenance issues like broken pipes, uh, clogged toilets, and very various other things. So are y'all residence hall specific or are other buildings on campus as well? Uh, I'd say we're like resident hall specific. Um, we're not technically allowed to like go into any other building that's not part of like residence life. Okay. So yeah, we're specifically in like residence. Which that makes sense. sense. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. So what makes working, just a question for each of y'all individually, what makes working on campus different than working off campus? Working on campus makes it really easy. Just go from straight working to uh, classes. Mm. And you don't have to travel very far. You don't have any like gas issues. Mm. It's right. just, you just strictly walk around campus fixing problems. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And like working on campus, you know, you're gonna like see a lot of people that you know like every day, you know, so that's mm -hmm. something you can't really yeah. run away from. You Y'all are just kind of around. Around yeah. and stuff like that. So it makes yeah. it more like, you know, friendly and stuff like that. Yeah, so, that's, yeah, yeah. community is always good. Yeah. So are there any other benefits other than just a simple paycheck? Uh, there are a lot of people in, uh, in maintenance that you just get to talk to a lot, a lot of diverse people that you get to become friends with that you normally wouldn't ever probably meet. Yeah, and like, aside from the paycheck, you know, they give us like the housing discount. Yeah. So I think it's about like 20, 25%. Yeah. So like that helps a lot with the tuition. And I'll be honest, that actually helps me a lot because like I'm really not from here. Mm -hmm. I'm international, so like I know my tuition is like slightly a little higher. So mm -hmm. like that helps out a lot. Yeah, that's so. definitely nice. Yeah, for sure. And y'all's position, is it hourly or are you guys on stipend? We are hourly. We get about 10 an hour. Yeah, about 10 an hour. All right, so you get 10 an hour. And what does the, like, the scheduling look like for that? Is someone scheduling for you or do y'all get to make your own schedules? Uh, a little bit of both. You kind of uh, tell the boss what hours works for you and uh, how it just how your classes are that way they don't schedule you on the same time mm -hmm. right. but once you put in the hours that you are available they assign you about 15 to 20 ish hours within that time frame that you've put yeah and i think it's different during the summer i think summer you can work about a max of like 28 hours yeah more hours in the more summer. hours during the summer okay. yeah and like our boss he works with us you know so like if he schedules you a certain time, you know, and like you go to him and you're like, sir, you know, I can't work this time. I got to go do something or I have some work or I have a family issue. He'll he'll work with you and he'll change your schedule. So I, your hours I like are that. very flexible. Yeah, very, very That's flexible. That's nice. Yeah. President's life has the best bosses. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so how does that help you balance your school and work? Well, since you pretty much have work immediately after classes you can't do homework immediately but like you won't work very late into the day so no matter what you will have the later part of the afternoon to do homework to hang out with friends and finish all the schoolwork that you need right yeah i just like when i actually started working with res life that actually made me have to have an actual schedule to like to like set up so like I take about six courses, so like I actually thought about it. I'm like, man, I don't think I'll be able to do it. But I just thought to myself, nah, if I have a schedule and I set my time right, then I'll have time to be able to. So just giving yourself time to do time the schoolwork. Yeah, that yeah makes it sense. taught you how to yeah. prioritize. That's so awesome. Prioritize, yeah. yeah. So, what is the most challenging aspect about working for residents life for your job specifically? <laughs> right now, during the summer, it's the heat. The heat <laughs> is. <laughs> It's crazy, man. That's crazy. It's so hot here. <laughs> I hey. cannot believe it was like 99 degrees today. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, where, yeah. I'm, where I'm from, actually, it, it's hot like this every day. So that's that's not really? that's not even a problem for me, honestly. <laughs> really, but I'd say like the most challenging part is you know 
sometimes if like he might give you something that's not like under your like job description just based off the fact maybe somebody called in or maybe somebody was sick so you know we'd probably have to handle it and it's probably something like maybe we've not done it before mm -hmm. but like we eventually get through it and we're able to yeah yeah to do it and stuff yeah and then what is your favorite part about working for residence life definitely the people the people uh yeah. <laughs> i've come into contact with uh quite a few people just that i've never talked to before and become good friends with them yeah we pretty much talk on a daily basis and got to know a lot about them yeah. that's awesome yeah same it's the same thing for me it's everybody's you know really yeah, definitely with residents side you get to stay kind of like involved with everything mm -hmm. yeah, yeah definitely. just your song campus you know yeah. everybody yeah. everything's around well thank y'all so much for yeah. talking about your job and what you do thank for you. residents life uh now we're going to have our next people yeah, on. I think we're gonna have some so, more guests yeah thank you so thank much you guys. thank you very much thank you all right, so we have a few more guest speakers today. You guys are also Res Life student staff, so go ahead and introduce us with your name and your job title. Okay, my name is Allison Caldwell. Um, I'm an RA for M Street, and yeah, that's pretty much it. My name is Allie Sutherland, and I am a housing ambassador. All right, so you mentioned housing ambassador and RA, so what is that specifically? Like, what does an RA do, what does the HA do? So an RA is a resident assistant, so I live in the dorm, and I help I, well, I specifically stay in M Street, so I help mm -hmm. freshmen out when they need help and everything. So. Okay. Um, and then as a housing ambassador, we're kind of, the first face you see as you walk into the Residence Life office, we answer the phone, we do some of the office work. Um, we really interact with a bunch of prospective students and current students. Mm -hmm. um, we're there to help you out, take you on tours, and just kind of promote Residence Life. Awesome. So... Both of these are on-campus jobs. Obviously, this is residence life. What makes working on campus different than working off campus? Um, I think like a benefit of working on campus is that like when we have breaks, you don't have to like schedule off. You can work if you want to, mm -hmm. but you don't have to. So you can go home and you don't have to worry about taking off. But like with an on, with an off-campus job, you have to like worry about that and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, and I was gonna kind of play into that too. Um, Basically, they're so flexible in their understanding, whereas they know that your student aspect comes first before work. So mm -hmm. they're more understanding when it comes to school stuff than it would be um, for a different employer outside of the university. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely a benefit. Yeah, definitely. So are there any other benefits outside of like scheduling and your uh, employers being understanding? What other benefits are there? A benefit of being an RA is that you get a housing discount, so that's really okay. nice. And you yeah. get guaranteed housing, so. Yes, you also get that as an HA too. So we all get the housing discount, um, and you do get kind of like priority housing, so you get to pick where you're going to be. That's awesome. nice. And then, like, what is the housing discount? Do you know? Um, it is 25% off um, whichever rate in the uh, residence hall that you're in. So uh, it might be a little bit different depending on where you're at and the yeah. cost of each hall, but you get a good little discount off of that. That's nice. Awesome. And then do you, you'll, we also get to like move in early, right? Yes, we move in July 31st for training mm -hmm. and then you basically train up until like almost the day of classes. Yeah. Cool. So is your position hourly or stipend? I am stipend. My position is hourly. Awesome. So what does scheduling look like then for your position? Like, do you set your own schedule or are you scheduled a certain amount of hours? Like, how does that go about? So basically for RA, you get with your whole team and then you get with your RD and you schedule out like when you want your weekly duty nights and then when you want your monthly, um, what's it called? monthly duty um weekends and stuff because mm -hmm. you have to have so many of that and they'll really work with you and you can't if you can't like do that day and you have something then you can ask like somebody else like hey can you take this for me so okay um and then for the office um we try to have each person has a set amount of hours but you can kind of pick and choose when you want to work those hours so um say you're supposed to work 20 hours in the office you can pick and choose um whichever days of the week you'd like to complete those hours and then we do our tours so that's mm, part of our hours fact, too yeah. um and our showroom maintenance so we try to keep up with our showrooms that we show all the incoming students and stuff um so keeping up with that making sure it looks good and clean is also part of our hours that go into um our whole scheduling 
Awesome. Yeah, that's nice. So how how do you guys maintain like a healthy work life and a healthy school life without having it like conflict, you know? So every week as an RA, you're required to have a one on one with your RD. So like I kind of think of her as like my own little therapist because she's always like, how are you doing? Like, how are classes and stuff? But then I also like every week make myself a schedule, which I have this, this day and everything. Make sure I have like everything in and stuff. So it's really nice. I would say kind of similar to her, but being um, an HA in the office, we don't have direct one-on-ones every single week but everyone is always understanding everyone in the office is like family they ask you how you're doing how's it going um I try to balance it by keeping a planner you know keeping my priorities straight knowing that school comes first um and that really takes a weight off of you knowing that if you are in trouble or if you have something that you need to do um they're going to be understanding and they're not going to hold you accountable for anything um that you can't help that's out of your uh uh your ability to do things so really that's what helps me like juggle it both is knowing that we have such great supervisors that have our backs we said it before in this episode but the bosses are literally the best (laughs) said it once we'll say it again (laughs) (laughs) so uh, for your job specifically in res life what is the most challenging aspect of it that you would think um i think like especially being an ra you're kind of like when so I have freshmen, so when they get here, you're kind of like their mom. Because mm-hmm. a, a lot of people, like, I'm a first gen, and a lot of people don't know what to do. And so being there and really helping them is really challenging, especially for freshmen. Mm-hmm. But it's actually really rewarding. So. Yeah, worth it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, um, being the first face people see in the office a lot, a lot of people come to you with their immediate problems and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'd say probably the most challenging thing is you have to learn or you have to be a very good problem solver um, because angry parents come in um, or you have to help situate this whole group of people. It's just sometimes you have to know how to think quick on your feet and um, how to help those who need it best. So um, that's probably like one of the most challenging things that I've come across as a housing ambassador. Yeah. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. Um, so what is your favorite part about working for Residence Life? Um, I'd honestly say being on duty. A lot of people are like, ew, being on duty is the worst part. But I don't know. It just keeps me on my feet. And just being able to talk to my residents every day and like, hey, how's classes doing? Yeah. And then, which this is my first year being an RA, but like being able to see them next year and seeing them as a sophomore mm-hmm. and a junior is really nice to see them grow. Um, I would say, like, in the office, everyone loves everybody pretty much. Um, We're all friends. We're all such, like, a close-knit family. Um, Even me being a housing ambassador, we see a lot of, like, the RAs coming in and stuff. So everyone's so friendly. Um, Like I said, everybody's just basically your family, and you know that they have your back. It's a great work environment. Yes, 100%. Well, thank you all so much for being on here. Uh, I didn't say my favorite thing. Oh, yeah. What is your favorite thing? (laughs) The office snacks. Oh, the snacks. That's right. Snacks. We always have snacks all the time. And we also have like candy at the front desk. And sometimes, like today, we get pizza (laughs) just randomly for fun. So, yes. It's definitely a benefit. The snacks. Yes, definitely. Anyways, thank you all for being on here. I believe we still have some more guests. So, we're going to talk to them. But y'all did a great job. Yeah. And yeah, that's it. Thank Thank you guys for having us. We saved the best guest for last. We have one of our area coordinators, John Nicholson. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Yes. So I oversee right now pretty much all of our residential grad students. Mm -hmm. So all of our RDs who oversee each of our buildings. Mm -hmm. So our North Zone, our Central Zone, and our South Zone. I get to work closely with all of them. And that's even all of the RAs. Which is just an absolutely fun time. They're just an awesome group, and it's one of my favorite parts. Yeah, so John, we have you here today to talk about how to apply to work for Residence Life. So yes. how do you apply to work for Residence Life? Yes, <laughs> so the application actually just opened on nine nineteen, so Monday. And what will happen is, students, it's on the housing portal for everyone to be able to go to. To You'll fill out the application. It's really easy. It's just probably about 12-ish questions. One part is a bit longer where you have to rank all of the different positions, but it's really important you do that because it helps us to find the best fit for each of our candidates. Um, really, from that point then, after you complete your application, we'll review it, we process it, and then eventually we'll send out applications, uh, interview parts, for everyone who is fully qualified. We do have a priority deadline date of October 17th. 
that so long as you complete your application by then, you will be fully considered and have an open, we'll be able to get you an interview and get you in pretty quick and easy. Okay, and then what kind of things does Rest Life look for in a student staff member? Yeah, we really look for people who are kind of excited about getting to work with residents, people who have kind of that drive based on the area, it actually changes a little bit. Mm. If they're in housing services, it's a lot more of a customer service focus. It's a lot more of a wanting to support students who may be coming in and having some questions or concerns that they need help with. On our residents' education side, a lot of it's focused on programming, coming up with those fun events for all the residents yeah. and everyone to get to do, have some fun with. RAs, it's a lot more on community building. And then in our operations side, it's making sure that the buildings are going to be able to be in good condition. So in each of those, we're looking for something a little bit different, kind of on that engagement side, mm -hmm. looking for people to, who are excited to come up with new fun ideas to do. Yeah. Uh, maintenance side, we're looking for students who kind of want to get down in there a little bit and learn some really cool lifelong skills that they'll be able to take after they leave here. Because yeah. mm -hmm. being able to take care and help work with a toilet is a skill you will use for the rest of your life. <laughs> Very valuable. Yes, oh, yes, for sure. So, I mean, this is obviously residence life. Do you have to live on campus to work for residence life? Yes. Yeah, so for all of our main student staff positions, you do have to live on campus. Um, if there's anyone who they're not totally sure, if they, we do sometimes allow certain small little issues uh, where people may not have to, but we highly encourage everyone to live on because that's really where we're focused. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that our students on campus are getting that best experience along with living with us because yeah. you do get a housing discount yeah. by yeah. working for Residents Life. And that's a great benefit that we want to make sure everyone who works for us gets to take the most benefit with. Just to utilize it. Yeah. Just to use it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what is, for you, what is your most challenging aspect of working with Residents Life? <laughs> I really think it's probably getting those 11 o'clock midnight phone calls but I'm happy to get them because mm -hmm. it means I can ensure that everyone is happy, safe, and healthy and just is taken care of. Yeah. Even if it's something from as small as a lockout mm -hmm. to a whole building smoke alarm going off. Mm -hmm. I'd rather we get that call because then we can support our yeah. students, our staff, and really just make sure that we're there and helping. Yeah, make sure everyone's okay. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And so you talked about how that's kind of a burden, but kind of a blessing. You kind of enjoy it. But would you say that that's your favorite part about Res Life or is there something oh, else? Oh, no. My favorite part of Res Life is getting to work with all of our student staff, mm -hmm. which I know it sounds so cliche because that's what I'm here talking about. Stop. But that really is my favorite part is when I get to hang out and see our student staff on campus in the main Res Life office and get to just talk with them, just make sure they're doing okay, and help them out as they're kind of learning and growing. Yeah. It's, I love getting to talk with our staff and help them and support them, regardless of what's going and on. talk about places to eat, too. Oh, I, I love good food here <laughs> yeah. in Russellville. And if you want to talk about good food, come and talk to me. <laughs> and your, uh, your favorite student staff workers, obviously, are the ATU Live co-hosts, right? <sighs> Hey, we'll see all you right, on the next all right, all right. <laughs> To be continued. Anyways, well, I was gonna say, all right, I'll give you that one. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Anyways, yes, well, they, they are a fun group to hang out with. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's all we got. Um, you were our last, but or not least, favorite guest. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyways, we're just going to keep going with it. Thank you so much for being on here and yeah. for letting everyone know how to apply. Uh, so now we're going to go grab Emily real quick yeah. so that we can start up some fun. Woo! Let's go. All right. It is game time. Tonight we're going to play, drum roll please, Song Association. Woo and we've got our boss, Laura, here to read off the words Yay! for us. So Emily, do you want to explain what Song Association is? Yeah. So pretty much Laura is going to give us some random word and it's pretty much just who can start singing a song with a word in it fastest and first to three wins. All right, let's, let's, let's get, get going. into it. Are you ready? We're ready. We're ready. First word is roll. 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 I want to rock and roll all, all night. night. And party, and party every, every day. day. All right, one point. One Keegan. point for Keegan. One point, Keegan. All right. <laughs> candle. Oh, what's that Elton John song with the candle? Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, fuck, there's an Ed Sheeran um, song with candle in it. I don't know any candle song. Okay, next do you word. Know any, do you know a candle and song, Laura? Next. Slow. Slow hands. 
Like sweat dripping down our dirty laundry. Dang it. No chance. All right. Good job, Em. Come one on, Mary. Point I, I one know. Join the one point gang. Build. And I will build my, my life upon, upon your, your love. love. <laughs> All right, Mary. <laughs> With the worship music. Sorry, I had Kai off the service last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, one, one. Run. Run, run. run. Oh. <laughs> you can have it. Okay. Run, run, run. As fast as you can. Can't you catch me on the gingerbread. I was doing I run, 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 I think they both got the point, too. It's one. Y'all both got the point. All right. Y'all so it's the two, same two, time. one. Yep. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. <laughs> Mother. Oh, all I can think of is, this ain't my mama. So all I can think of is mama. mama. Yeah. Okay, there's got to be a song with mother. I don't know one, though. Oh, um, no. Mama. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. Night. Oh, In the night. I don't know the night. rest of the words. No. The stars were Christmas bright. Very good. Dang it. I had the song, but I couldn't go with it. <laughs> what was it? The weekend song. In the night. In the night. I hear No, not that song. The they know what I'm talking yeah, about. I'm, well, they know all the songs, Keegan. I hate this game. <laughs> I'm so bad. Did I win? You just won. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, thanks. Huge shout out to all of our guests for joining us. Thank you to Laura for being our song association queen and our just queen overall. Queen Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all so much for tuning in. We are going to see all of you next week where we are going to discuss Indigenous People's Day and talk about some professor secrets. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. Bye.